Oh yeah. That's that's the one, yeah. Just grabbed me McDonald's breakfast. Hearty meal for a hearty person. Just gonna go meet the lads up now, it's about an hour's drive. Up uh, the back end of Eden Valley. So I'm here in uh, Eden Valley at the location where I was sent the pen to meet the lads. Road was an absolute nightmare, it took me like an hour and 20 minutes to get here. But I'm just waiting for the lads now, hopefully, hopefully I haven't missed them. There's a nice bench behind me though, so I'm going to go make a cup of tea on that. Have a nice cup of tea. Walsh, then get your tea. Walsh, no. Walsh, water. And then absolutely spectacular. Walsh, view. Let's see, let's wait for the lads now. See how long they take. Hopefully, I haven't missed them. Alright, so we're here now with the lads. Overlooking the dam, no church. And a Liberal Democrat sign. It's a nice little spot, and that, yeah, that does look like it's being cut out, doesn't it? Uh, so lovely woodlands to walk around. So that's where we're heading, over there to that red building, over there, which is a bit of a bit of a hike to be honest but it's quite a nice hike and it's not um it's not too warm it's not too cold a little bit of sprinkle of rain it's not too bad it's not too bad at all i got a bug crawling around my camera so i'll make the corrugated sheet its side yeah it's pretty cool though isn't it make a lovely house I don't even think that that would take much to get it back up and no, no pretty rough inside, the floors are giving way and Let's have a look at this house then. So some perps that has come across here and sprayed this in the middle of fucking nowhere. People have just... Right, we'll look at that one now. Let's have a... Can you get in? Now it's screwed shut. It's probably was the coal shed or something. They, they've come along here and they've sprayed that as well. Man, I don't really understand the mentality that goes through some people's heads. No, it's a screwed shut too. But I'm not going to climb. I'm not going to climb in because look at the floors. They look like they're about to collapse, but it's a lovely, lovely old fireplace there. There's another one through in the, other, in the back there as well. Is there, yeah? yeah another one like that. That floor doesn't look very healthy to stand on, does it? No, you can't. There's no stairs. There's all the sheep shit in there. The stairs are right. No, I'm not going to climb in. How did the sheep get in there? I have no idea, man. But they do jump quite high, don't they? So, like, did they come here and <laughs> jump over? <laughs> uh, so, you've got another, like, building here. That James said this one was the manager's office. Some cast iron gutter in there. Nice. Nice. Now, see, if that was closer to the road, the scrap man would have had it. Yeah, yeah, it does look like it's had some work done to it. Yeah, even the soffit boards don't even look that, that bad, to be fair. Like, it does look like it's savable. Right, this is a different one altogether, though. So this was apparently the manager's... You've got four fireplaces. So somebody was keeping warm. See, this is not even a bad building as well. It's no, quite it's structurally pretty, sound, this is. You'd have to build the pots up to back yeah. And build the chimneys back up. Oh, no. That's it, yeah, but just build the apexes yeah. up. 
take out the timber for the uh for the kind of when they were knocking it down oh it's got the old flag still on the floor yeah. it's quite mm-hmm. a grand, um, house or... i think it's another one though, but the front was quite fancy but then Grand house, so yeah. here we have some stables or like an old smithy or something. They got the forge. Yeah. And we never come in here last time. Nice big benches actually. Lots of sheep shit. Well, saying that, that's a massive sheep. It's probably cows actually, to be honest. Yeah, it's a bloody forge. Well, it's got the Oh yeah. The house. Yeah, that could be from the house. Yeah. What else is there? Scuffle over the house. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's the power. Yeah. And this is a new roof, this is. So they got this here, so they, they must have talks and stuff, I do. Yeah. Oh, I'm more intrigued now with this site. There's a lot of shit on the floor, though. A lot of shit. So lovely. Look at the view. So this was probably the stables then. So you would have had the forge next door. Oh, hello, bird. Hello, me. Oh, yeah, I don't want to disturb you. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, don't shut me. But this was probably the stable. There's a couple of little birds in there. Yeah, so that's all being re-roofed. It's got solar panels on the roof. I was just about to say, because there's a box, there's a box inside there. Yeah. What are they doing with it Yeah, it's got a couple of solar panels up there. Interesting, interesting. And you've got another building there. The main shaft, the horse swim would have been up on top of it. Around here somewhere. Yeah. So the, uh, the boys were saying that there's a video on YouTube of them... Um, Somebody created a animation of this site and it shows you how it would have worked and stuff. I'll, I'll find it and I'll put the link in the description. Right. So we're in there. This is where the water wheel would have been. Yeah. So there's a couple of big thick metal bars, tie down bolts. See where the timber frame would have sat in to support it all the way across. I wonder if they're part of the spokes for it or something. You look like pumping rods, yeah. They, they are like they they they're not trees because you can see that they've been processed. Like that one's been squared off. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go around and look down from the top. The pumping rods here. Yeah, you can see them there. Like the flat rods there as well. Oh, yeah, right. I'll go. Yeah, where did that one go? Well, that one just drops off there, so you need to look more from that side. Oh, shit, I didn't even see that behind us. I can't remember. I don't know if I've been in there. Or if it's so, a drop off. Doesn't look like it looks about four or five foot, doesn't it? Oh, right. oh wow, this is all precarious. So, like, look at the pump. The, uh, yeah. It's all, it's all crumbling. Like, Oh yeah, you can see where it's blocked there. Yeah. yeah. Like, but this oldest bank is crumbling down. Yeah, it's just all washing away. Hey, we've made it up to where we think we're... The train still down there. The train is still down there. A train? Trainers. Oh, sorry, I thought you said the train. Oh, wow. Hey. What the fuck am I looking at? All I see is a hole, and then a hole on the other side of the... That's mad, those trains Dad saw down there like 30 odd years ago, it's still there. 
Right, just be careful now because we've got a big fucking drop off down there. Wow. Oh Jesus, you've got a massive drop off down there. So I assume. Yeah, it, right, so we're gonna have a quick look in here. There's a shaft there. I think uh, the boys are gonna have a quick look that way. We're gonna have a quick look that way. Um, yeah, bada bing, bada bang. Bit of deep mud. It's alright. I think I might have a little hole in me, Wally. Alright, right, so we've got some green sludge on the wall. We need to get rid of that. Get that way. Yeah, I think I've got a little hole in me, Wally, somewhere. Oh, yeah, look there. Oh, yeah. Right, it's submerging a little bit. It's getting a little bit wet, but. Sludge. That's a sludge. Nice rotten beam. This is all falling out of up there. Yeah. yeah. Well, so there's loads of footprints in the mud here, but I don't think I need them all like off nail boots. Oh yeah man, I'm, my foot is getting wet now. My wellies have a leak. Like, not a lot of minerals. It's a little bit at the start there, but it's not an awful lot. Right, what else have we got down here then? You can hear Gareth coming through now. He was putting. Oh, there's a bottom of a barrel. A bucket. Yeah. Gunpowder. Yeah. Like and there's the another one there, yeah. Flat stuff. Nice. And that looks like a peg, doesn't it? Mm. Like that's been an axe cut. Yeah. It looks like a peg. They are big drill holes, isn't it? And see, like that one goes there, that one. So they. I've never seen what's like happening. Yeah, they've happen. deliberately like blasted that out for something. I can hear Gareth coming through. He's like a wrecking ball. He's like coming in like Miley Cyrus. One of my favourite singers she is. We love a bit of Miley. Oh man, who doesn't? Who bloody So James just pointed this out. I don't know if you can see because I'm shit at recording and shit with lights. But this groove is where the wheelbarrow would have come back and forward. And it's just cut a line out into... I haven't actually seen one no, before sense. because I've never paid that much attention really to it. Really spark the entrance. Uh, the only other place I've seen the track like that with a wheelbarrow is the uh, coffin level. Yeah. And the grid, yeah. The grid where we Wow. Right, so shall we stick to the main channel first? Yeah, I think that's not for them. Alright, well that's normally what we do, is we go down the main channel and then we always come back and do the side ones. So you can see the sulphur starting to come out. I don't, I don't know if you can actually see this though, that's the problem. I think this round light is too bright and it's blurring everything. The sulphur. It's full of crystals as well. I can see the shiny. It could be sulfur, I don't really know. I really need to get these torch situations sorted. Like, I bought some f more Fenix stuff, a Fenix ambassador, while we were in the mine. And, uh, yeah, but now I've got more batteries and I got this other little Fenix torch. Oh, yeah, this is a dead end. We've got a bit of vein here, I didn't to come up on it, yeah. See, I've got to be honest, I didn't notice any of that. Oh, yes, yeah. Oh, mate, there's nice big chunks of quartz in there. 
I don't think it might be a bit of a greener in that. It's quite dark. Yeah, it's dark. Yeah. And it seems quite wet in this part, right? There's a lot of sludge on the wall and stuff. Where the other one, uh, down the other end, it doesn't seem... Seems quite dry. Right, so we're into the dead end now. Oh, hang on. Have we got carboy... Car... Carbide writing on the wall here. How do I adjust this right now? Oh, there is, yeah. Is it is a carbide though? It is. It is. Yeah, it's carbide. That's it. Try, try. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Right, so I don't know what it says. There's a G, H, and then there's one initials. underneath. Right, let me two. I've got my. That's it. Does that, does that make it better or worse? Oh, that makes it worse. Yeah. I can't tell what it says. Right, I'll tell you what, let me try with this one then. That is definitely cardioid. Can you definitely see it? Oh, there. Yeah, so there's some carbide right in there. Can't quite make it out, but there's some scratches in the wall here. Fat. Uh, yeah. Matty. I could say Matty instead of fat, actually. <laughs> fat Matty. Fat Matty. That's a bit tight. Uh, yeah, you can see. I don't know. I don't know how well the camera will pick it up, but look, you can see all the blues and reds and greens coming out in there. It's quite a small little test at it. This one is drying out half of her. The water's diverted and is now coming out of this side where you can see it probably did run straight down here. Let's see where it's splashing on the floor. That all there. See the shape of it? Wow. And then the metal caught my eye and as soon as you picked it up it was like, I thought it was bark for a second but it's not. It's that's a shoe. So it's a hobnail boot. That's that, yeah. Wow. I missed that when I walked in. I met, uh, yeah, same here. Uh, I was looking out for it. Yeah. Like there's it. more leather. Yeah. All of these bits in here. The nails sticking through it. You can see, like, all, I won't go digging too much through because I don't want to damage it, but that's pretty cool. That's all silver mm, That's pretty cool. The burn marks on the way out. There's, even, there's, yeah. uh, there's fingerprints up here. What's that? Scratch marks here. That, well, that's definitely going to be mine. Because nobody's going to be scratching on the side of Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. The, the clay, yeah. They probably scooped the chunk of clay out to stick the candle on the wall. Put the uh, yeah, well, there's one here. It's a little bit. There's a burn mark here. If it wouldn't be enough to clap the end of it, there's a tallow candle. And this is the burn mark. Yeah, you see, look at this side here. It's like all loose. And then this side is like solid rock. It's fun. Right. So we've got a little hole here. Boys are going to start digging it out. Uh, the boys, the boys, I'm supervisor. It's gonna have a little shot at it to see how how hard, how bad it is. Is it easy? And while he's doing that, I'm going to make a cup of tea and uh, I shall show you fine ass folks of YouTube this little waterfall here. If I can find my way back across to her. I'm having a bit of a mere stain on my feet. <sighs> Flipping now. <laughs> it's quite a deep pool. Right. <sighs> 
There we are. Little waterfall there. Nice. Nice. Lovely. Well, we're certainly getting our five a day in, isn't it? More like 55,000 bloody midges have just gone down my throat. Well, you can see in my well, What I'll do, boys, is I'll create a smoke distraction. Yeah, I'm I'll go like, like. That's not a bad idea. I'll turn into. Uh, that looks like the stuff that gets reworked. This is definitely the process. Th this is like it looks like you know when it gets uh, reworked and run through the sluice runs. Right. Yeah. There's a massive bolt there. No. Right, we were sat, we were sat there, weren't we? Yeah. And we were looking across, and it was here, in that depression there. Oh, mind you saying that, you could have been right, Gareth, and it... You go on. Whoa. Mate, it'd be interesting to bring a gold pan up here as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm finding the pine. That's got some cleaner in it, look. There's some cleaner there, look. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's, that is a nice little piece of quartz. Yeah, do you want to keep that? Put it in your rock pile. Wild cotton growing in the Welsh hillside. Yeah, and there's another big patch of it down there, too. Wild cotton. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. I'm walking that's through this grass that's like halfway up me. It's like the boys are there. So I'm just going to check out what this depression is up here. See? There is a tram line that runs around that hill. A bit wet and buggy. Right. Right, we're getting there. We're getting there. You can see a roll of cable. Just be careful now of like shafts and things I got I don't actually think that there is anything in here no no right I'll head back down the hill to the boys <laughs> right let me just turn the torch on come on turn on right there we go Oh shit, mate! That's like it goes a leap. Yeah. Oh, that goes like around. A tower race sort of thing. That does go around the bend. Yeah. Oh. That probably goes down to that river there, isn't it? I reckon I this was a leap. Yeah. Random. That's a mad find. No, that's okay. Yeah. I went down there last time. Did you? Yeah, I'm going to skim a stone. Yeah, that's crazy, yeah. Is that is that ladder there? No. Oh right, okay. You checked, did you? Nice uh, little waterfall there, you can see where it comes through. There was uh, an old mill building up there. But we're going to carry on walking back across this pathway. Head back down to the car park. Bada bing, bada bye. Right, so we're on our way home. Me and Gareth, 
James is heading off the other direction because he lives an hour the other way, we live an hour this way. Even though it took an hour and a half to get here, it's still an hour away. I don't really know how that works out, it's more confusing than what I'm saying, <laughs> saying to be honest. But uh, otherwise, yeah, sound, happy days. Thanks for watching, love you all. And uh, until the next time, and have a good day.